What is that? The net. Fishing net. Oh. oh wait. No, it's a metal detector. To to two ego eres oh, and a keyhole. Key Probably the This is a... Uh... It looks like a tombstone. So uh so the people buried here are Mr. Two Fui and Miss Ego Eris. What? Well that's what it says. Two Fui Ego Eris. It's is Latin. They were Latin lovers. <laughs> oh wow. That's an epitaph. Something that uh, that they feel represents them, or just a phrase they liked. What does it mean? <laughs> Beats me. Uh. Any ideas, Luna? It looks like it's Latin, but I don't know what it means either. Hmm. I wonder if there's a specific character from our roster that knows Latin, and you can get them in this room. Probably feed. To translate. Did you see this? Uh, it looks like there's the keyhole down there, near the bottom. Uh, You're right. Oh, it's a metal detector. Also that. Wow, there's a lot of items in this place. Like, a lot. So we have to... This is a metal detector, uh... It's pretty much what it says on the tin. Uh, he used it to detect metal. Uh, what sort of range do you think it has? It depends on the amount of metal. Uh, large objects can be detected even if they're several meters underground. Uh, That's amazing. But what about small things like a ring or a screw? Yeah. Unfortunately, sometimes you can't find that sort of thing even if it's only a few centimeters underground. Uh, Oh, so you need to be pretty close to it for the metal detector to work, then. I wonder how you're going to go around scraping the whole level with the uh, metal detector. Probably equipped it. That might work. There it is. Hello, oh. angry lion, sun. Here comes the sun. S Simba. It looks like there's some sort of mosaic on the bottom of the pond. A lion, uh... Yeah. Looks like a lion, alright. Okay. Okay. Uh, Metal detector. Oops. Alright, you click on stuff while it's equipped and that does it. Oh. What? Oh, key. Wait, can you open the drawer? A metal scale. There's a blade on each side. On the right plate. Yeah. Okay. And on the left plate. Jesus. So that's a lot of items. Oh, it opens. There's something in the drawer. What is this? It feels like it's metal. Piece of a metal. piece of metal. Probably, oh, that's the thing that goes I, in the fans. I, I thought we had to balance the scale in order to get it. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah I recognize that. Yeah, so I thought we'd have to balance the scale to open it, but I, I guess we just so get too. it. I guess with the scales balanced, we take the items off. <laughs> That's true. Nailed it. Just don't overthink it. Bench. Hi. Oh, you don't have the metal detector out. Looks like there's just enough room for two on this bench. What? Why are you looking at me? Oh, uh, no reason. Hmm. Hmm. It's a bench with room for two. They say sitting on a park bench with your boyfriend is pretty romantic. You ever done that, Luna? Uh, of course not. Stop making fun of me. You want to sit down with me? With... you? Um... well... um... let me think about it. Is Luna shell? Is that all that's here? Maybe. I don't, uh, it looks like there is. Let's oh, go God, put the you're thing in the thing. So putting the thing in the thing. Probably, let's open the box. Oh, oh, yeah. No, I'm good. putting the thing in the thing. It's a weird thing. Maybe it'll have the third key. I think this thing goes in there. Probably, but what do you do after you've put it in? Well, I could turn it or I could push it. If we just needed to push it, we just need a stick, not this weird thing. I don't think you'd be able to get a good enough grip to turn it either. Uh, attaching some kind of bar to the end would give you the leverage you need, though. Oh, so you need to attach the fucking wrench to it. 
It might work. Uh, it will work, guaranteed. You already passed it. I got really confused by the layout of this combined screen when there's so many items flying around. Yeah. I was like, I don't understand what I'm looking at. There we go. Oh my goodness. The handle fits perfectly into the hole on the wall. Good, and now try turning it. Uh, uh excuse me, what? We just destroyed the sun. When I turned the handle, it got dark. Oh no. It looks like the light uh, the light up there went down. To the sun? It went to the lion's mouth. Yeah. Maybe that light was sort of, was a sort of surrogate sun. Uh, if that's the case, it didn't just get dark, it became nighttime. Uh, so the garden needs nighttime? I guess so. Uh, or maybe there's some hidden meaning in switching from night to day. Uh, Let's go see if anything changed now that it's dark. If we want it to be afternoon again, all we have to do is turn the handle, right? Specifically afternoon, huh? Anyway, let's, let's open some stuff. Yeah, let's open these boxes. Gold. Gold. That's a piece of paper. Oh, we're missing a key still. Yeah, we are. Bronze. Bronze. Another piece of paper. We'll combine them. We probably need the last piece. Oh, you're right. Yep. A piece of paper I got out of the copper box. One edge is rough, like it was torn. So we need the third piece, which is light, which is silver. Which tells us the combination yeah. to we press. We have a knife, a metal detector, a yellow coin, and a box with a silver lid. Okay. I just wanted to see if it would detect metal. <laughs> What's a knife for? I don't know. Do you think that... Uh, I wonder if the papers give us the code. It does. For the... Yeah, it gives us the code the for the buttons. Waterfall buttons, yeah. yeah. But what the fuck... Maybe a plant will look different now. Oh, you're right. Wow, they even made a waterfall. Hold on, doesn't it look like there's something built into the rock wall behind the waterfall? Uh, yeah, the walkway goes under it, doesn't it? I wonder what's back there. That's terrible for wood, by the way. Yeah, I'm, I find, I'm alarmed that the waterfall goes directly onto the pathway. It's just not good for its future. But also, really, a waterfall this big is going to stop us from just going to whatever that is. Yeah. It's too dark to tell what's going on. Really? But, um, I guess it's way darker for them than it is for us. Excuse me? Oh. Oh. Oh, oh there's a Oh. Star. Let's go back and look at the stream real quick from that side. Nope, not there. So you can only see it when you're on that side. Wait. Yeah. So... Small purple star, larger blue star. Uh, a yellow star Gold, and a pink yeah. star. Oh, that's, yeah, there's a pink one at the end. Anything changed with the plants? Hey there. No. Oh. It's really dark, I can barely see. I didn't look at that during the day. Stripper pole! <laughs> wow, wow. Definitely, oh, green star. Yellow star. I wonder if the stars are a code or they're just pointing us over there and looking know. cool. Check it out. <clears throat> I thought that was an item, the dark spot. Oh. It's conspicuous. Hey, look at that. Uh, are these uh, stars? Maybe the idea was that when night falls, the stars come out? Hmm. Stars did come out. How do we get over here? No, we're just following the stars. Oh, just follow your nose! Is it worried we didn't see them or something? Or does it want us to memorize the code? The star showed up once night fell. Uh, I wonder if there's some significance to that. Uh, the star is definitely red. The light is uh, right underneath it. Uh... This is the big star. So far, I found one star. What? Are you serious? Okay, there's the green uh, okay, one. Okay, so we have to click on all of them. Give me a second. <laughs> what? Witness. Oh. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> that star looks pretty green. 
That's a pretty small star. Oh, okay. We're just gonna bleep, breeze through this. I mean, it's, they're literally gonna have a full conversation about what color each star is. I don't think... Yep, it's blue. It sure is blue. How romantic. I, I'm a woman. Okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> you should have read this. Apparently. It's fine. I can fix it. Oops, shit. We didn't see that. <laughs> Go for it. This one's blue. I feel like I just reach out and grab it. Uh, How romantic. Well, I am a woman. Uh, it looks a little large for me to carry, though. Uh, That's what I get for trying to cut down on the verbosity of this game. Yeah. Click on the yellow. Yellow that was star. Not, that was kind of not really worth it, honestly. What, the dialogue? The, yeah. <laughs> Some and dumb shit. It's all dumb shit. Star is yellow. Oh, just go fine. Just That's sit it. through it. Wow, the di Wow, thanks for your additional dialogue, Alice. Wow, it sure is the shapes you would expect of a star to be. You could say it is a typical star. I would say it's mid-sized. God damn it. I hate you. Not like your chest. I hate your dialogue. I hate everything about this sassy woman character that always shows up because they're always so poorly written. Star is purple. So small and cute. Okay, five Become stars. Five stars. That's it. I give this game five stars out of five. Seven out of ten. I guess turn it back to daytime. The password is five stars. <laughs> this is a safe, right? It looks like one at least. There was a safe that looked like this in the crew quarters too. Uh, Let's see if we can get it open. Once. One star, two star, three star, four star, five star. I want to do this one instead for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> Failed. Oh no, the stars didn't work. Damn it! I just don't get it. I mean, Sigma, please. Sigma, please. So I guess just turn it back to daylight? Yeah, I don't know what else we do during so we the night. Figure out what the stars are. <laughs> Turning the handle uh, back made the room bright again. The light that went down when you turned the night on came back up. Uh. So now the sun is out and it's gone from night to afternoon. Alright, so let's check that potted plant. Yeah, we didn't look at that up close. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't do that. We missed the one thing. We're bad people. Life is a highway. It's just a flower pot. There's nothing special about it at all. Wait, don't people usually hide their house keys under a flower pot or in the mailbox? They do. Just trust me. I'm sure there's something underneath under there. What? Oh my god! I thought they'd at least have to pick up the plant. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Okay. There we go. It was now, exactly where we thought it was. Yep. Now we have all the pieces. So let's combine. Um, Transformers more than meets the eye. Combine. Yay! And combine again. Okay, so, so one, left, right, right, left, center, center, right. Yeah, so one, three, one, or wait, one, three, three, one. All right, what was it again? It's fine. I can see it in the corner. Oh, one, three, three, one, two, two, three. Yeah. Stop spinning. <laughs> it, I love how it spins automatically. It's like, woohoo! It's, like it's like an excited dog. It's your, it's your dog, actually. Yeah, it is my dog. It's Shadow! Shadow! Oh no, I've invoked his name. The waterfall stopped. I guess that was the waterfall control panel. Why would you put that on a control panel that's so convoluted? Yes. Oh. Right, right the coins. Yep. So we yep. have to find more, I guess. Ta-da! Oh, it came back. You have to put them all in at once. Okay. So time to use Metal that detector. Metal what should we use the knife on? Uh, Luna. Wait, no, Alice. We should cut open a uh, tomato. Yeah, probably. Aren't the coins made of metal? You've got the perfect way to find them then, don't you? Really? Oh, okay. Oh! The metal detector seems to be responding to this tomato. All right, grab it. Uh, okay. So we use the metal detector to find the correct plant from each of the three groups of plants, and then use which will give knife. us the other three coins when we cut them open, and then we'll yeah. have four coins. Did it react to any of the others? 
No, just this one. There we go. Here we go. All right. That'd be a fun puzzle for a uh, escape room. It, that would be a very hard that'd be, puzzle. That'd be an expensive puzzle for an escape room. Yeah. We well, plant an entire you, tomato tree over and over again. Not if you made it fake. Is that called a tomato tree? Like, if you made it a fake one. A fake tomato? Yeah. Oh. Oh, wait. It switched out. Oh, this one. It's reacting to this onion. Okay, just skip all this shit. It's just the same fucking... Unless it's not, and they're like, well, I am a woman. Yep. All right. And then back. To the Oopsie. Oh. It's fine. Beep, beep. It's literally the same copy paste. Fucking uh, well, it's not the same copy paste, but that's but so close. All right, now combine them with knives. Now I'm ready to see the uh, the Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, boy! Remember green, that oh, green coin? Get it? That, <laughs> that wait, white, wait, white coin? coin? Uh, okay. Red, Red coin. coin. The, the color of the gems. Based on the stars. Oh, the sizes of the stars. Yeah, that makes sense. So red was big. And I didn't remember the rest uh, in, in size blue, order. Blue was big, then it was purple, and then... Oh wait, no, then it was yellow, then it was... Wasn't blue small? No, blue was big. She was like, I, uh, I don't think I can hold that. Oh, you're right. But the red was the biggest, right? Yeah. So red was the biggest. Uh, I think white was the smallest. No. Because yellow was medium sized. Green, green was the smallest, or was purple green small? was. Purple was the smallest, actually. Was green also small? Yes. We, don't have, we don't have purple. Yeah, green is also small. And yellow is medium size. It was like mid-size. Where was white compared to yellow? I don't remember a white star. Let's guess. Yeah. Okay. I'm guessing just putting holes... Yeah. Don't randomize it. Okay, yeah, they're just explaining what we definitely already know. Yeah. Wait? Oh, she's shit. being dumb. She's like, we should put them on a scale. Oh, yeah, she's not being dumb. She's shit. saying we should put them on a scale. Fuck. Shit. Right. It's not the stars. I thought it was. Unless she's wrong. The game just explains the solution to the puzzle to you. That seems like, odd to me. Ugh. That means we gotta like. Ew. That's gross. It's fine. It's yeah, fine. Yeah, but we have to play this shit game now of like a balance scale. I can use to see how heavy things are. I should weigh the coins with this, huh? All right, yeah. <laughs> Check. Uh, oh. Oh, hello, separate screen. Wow, this like cartoon ass looking. Huh? Shit. We couldn't have done this in engine. So green. Green is heavier. Is heavier. Wait, don't take green off. Let's yet. play the green. Yeah, let's play the green Olympics. Yeah. Oh, you have to drag it. Yeah. Green is winning. Yeah. Green is king. Okay, so green's the heavy one. So then yellow. Let's do yellow. Compared to white. Yellow is winning. All right. So yellow green. is winning. Green, yellow. So green, yellow. What? Fifth. Fifth. What the fuck? They just flew everywhere. Do you think it's broken? Let's see, uh... What? Oh, I get it. If you use the scale more than five times, it triggers this spring, which makes the whole thing shake. I'll do the same thing if you stop using it- or I'll do the same thing if you stop using it before you reach five times. Oh, right! We need to pick up all the coins. Why? Well, now I've got the coins. Okay. Who gives a fuck? They didn't change weight. Wait, wait go- yeah, go back. Did we figure out? Yeah, we're fine. Oh, okay. Oopsie. So the heaviest one was green, right? Yep, so green, yellow. Yellow. And then we guess. <laughs> <Good> Yay! <laughs> it's, I mean, it was a 50-50 yeah. chance. We could just switch them if it was wrong. What's that noise? What the fuck was the point of the they fall the, the scale falls over thing? Yeah. I'm like, it's not like the coins are gonna change weight magically from falling over. It only makes sense if the puzzle's actually resetting, which it's not. Yeah, it's it's not. It sounded like something unlocking. Uh...
I guess it wasn't just a panel. It was actually a door. And there's a screen inside of it. Oh, fuck. What's the... It's showing nine stars. Okay. Oh, so we gotta pick the stars that existed? The, the ones that are in the stream are the solution for the safe. Yes. Oh. What are we supposed to do with them? Well, why don't you try touching them? All right, so the biggest star was... Yeah, so the biggest star was red. Yeah, we don't know if it's size, though. It might just be the order they were in the stream. Okay, so red, green, yellow, blue, purple. So, wah, wah, wah. So based on that, so try red, uh, blue, yellow, purple, green? Okay. Yeah! So was it size, or did yeah, you, or you run with the size? Okay. <laughs> Thought so. You did it! Hey, or- Hey, check out the screen! Oh, that was just the basic- Already? Huh? Yeah, that was just the- That was fast. <laughs> no, we're just good. Alright, so sun, sun, sun. Huh? Wait, if this is- Oh, yeah, it's a safe password, whatever. Um, so now we gotta do it again. So put the coins back in, or can we just touch the screen again? Sweet. Uh, now there's, a, so there's it, another order? Try it back. Wait. Try it backwards? Try... Try green? So you, you did them by size? Yeah. Let's just make the... Oh, shut up. What? I'm just gonna make, the, make it nighttime. And okay. we just look at it. <laughs> And we can formulate our answer. I'm trying to think what else it could be. Oh, oh, duh. Fuck. Uh, go and touch every single one. Touch the stars? Yeah. Cause she's, uh, no, no, not, not there. Sorry. Um, touch, touch, like actually touch the stars. I mean, we clicked them before. Yeah, but she said how much they weigh. No, that was the that was the that was the coins. No, 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 no. Loaded or uh, uh, Alice also talked about how much the stars weighed. She talked about how big they were and how much they weighed. I mean, that's all we get. Yeah, shit. Um. So you did them based on size. I did them based on size. Let's see. Let's see if we were if we were right about order or not. So red, green, red, green, yellow, blue, purple. Yellow, blue, purple. Yep. You can try it reverse to see if we were wrong about what it meant by order. Yeah. If not, I guess you could go by weight, but I think weight is also by size at some regard. But. Red, green, yellow, blue, purple. That's the order, yeah. Red, green, yellow, blue, purple. Just, what? Oh. Just being sure about the oh. blue. Uh, purple, blue, blue yellow, green, yellow, green, green red. Wow. It was that easy. It's just reverse. God okay. Damn it. Here, so, here's the thing. Awesome. Here's the thing. Yeah. I think the order was the easy one. When you did size, I think you got the gold answer first. Oh shit. I think we have to I... check the passwords page to be sure which one is the secrety one. So oh. we can answer enter them in the right order. Shit. <laughs> Cause they were so they were both so easy that it's hard to tell which one's the secret. <laughs> awesome, solved it. Good work. Look at the screen. Whoa. What's going on? Uh, the screen's changed. Uh, you were there the last time this happened. Oh, so just go to password and I guess it'll tell us which password yeah. is password. That's what I'm saying is we need to check the password page to tell what order they're in. Also, just save. Uh, we don't need multiple pages of saves. No, we don't. Just cycle sure. them. Just cycle them so if a particular session somehow fucks up the recording, we can go back to the previous session's recording. Yeah. Uh, so there's buttons. Archive, oh. password. 
I was okay, right. So yeah, I was totally right. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you got the you got the secret one first. All right, let's, get, let's get them gold files. You excited? I can't wait to hear about someone else's porn stash. Right. I hope it's a uh, an easy room, like unusually easy. Yeah. It's almost like, despite the fact that they said how big it was, it was actually a really small area to explore. <laughs> yeah. Oh, at least we're getting all the gold files on hard. Yeah. Yes! It opened! You did it! Good job, Sigma. Shut up, bitch. Secret, secret. I've got a secret. Oh, God. Oh, my no. fucking God. Ice, Ice nine, nine. nine. Morphogenic field. That's what it was called. Uh. Oh, Tufui Ego Eris. Oh, yeah. We never unlocked it. No. Ice. Oh, you can you want to do I can do it. Yeah, you've been reading all day. Yeah. Ice nine is a special form of water with a melting point of 36 degrees Celsius. In other words, it freezes at room temperature. The idea of Ice nine was originally put forth by the American science fiction author Kurt Vonnegut. His version of Ice nine has a melting point of 45.8 degrees Celsius. There is a rumor that says all the water in Alice's body is actually Ice nine. Who knows whether it's true or not? But if this is but if it is, then she she has always uh, she has to always keep her body temperature above 36 degrees Celsius, which you would think would mean that she'd wear more clothing. But instead, she wears less clothing than ever before. At, at raising all these new questions about what what the fuck is her costume? If she needs to keep her body heat high to not uh, freeze with from ice nine, why is she wearing nothing? Also, how does one have a body? Temperature also, that is freezing at nor at room temperature. Also, fun fact, I met Bird in person in the Kurt Vonnegut section of a library. <laughs> really? <laughs> we were meeting at like a French restaurant in Berkeley, and I was like, eh, I, I, I don't want to wait here because I was there early. So I just went to the there was a uh, there wasn't a library exactly. It was a it was a secondhand bookstore next door. Oh okay. And I was just standing at the Kurt Vonnegut section when he when he showed up. <laughs> Like, huh, there you go. H. This refers to Gentaro Hongo. He was one of the characters who appeared in Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine... D We're just throwing out all pretense of being in-universe, aren't we? Mm, the last yeah. one says, Nice Nine was invented by Kurt Vonnegut, the science fiction author, and now it's just saying the name of the previous game? Gold files are weird. They're not even they they don't even vaguely in the universe. Every time I keep talking about them uh, like on the Discord or anything, people are like, "Yeah, don't read them. They're not, they're going to spoil stuff." Which is like, why we're is, super going to because they're built into the game yeah. and they're even put forth as a challenge like they dare you to get the gold files. And they're then so they hard. spoil everything ahead of time. This this game this is a baffling series and this is only <laughs> the, the gold files only add to it. <laughs> he fuck? was the person who supervised the kidnapping of the children who participated in the Nonary game in 2000. 18. Hey, that's that current year we're in. Oh no, did you say current year? He is the CEO of Cradle Pharmaceuticals and a devoted follower of the of Free the Soul. Free the free the what? What does what, that mean? What are we doing? We're freeing what now? Collective soul? Is he like a Buddhist? Wait, is <laughs> wait. Come on now, breathe. Is this the teacher? Breathe after me. Can't you see? Morphogenic field. This theory holds that there is a sort of field where the forms, structures, patterns, etc. of everything in reality are stored. This includes abstract things like language, song, thoughts, inspiration, culture, customs, and ideas. Any information contained, transmitted, or created by matter is held in the morphogenic field. In the Zero Escape series, wow. people who can communicate by accessing this field are known as espers. If morphogenic field theory is true, however, this would mean that, in a sense, all humans are espers of a sort. This is a this is a way of writing this game. This series of ne has never engaged in straight up like acknowledging its own franchise yeah. as if it's like a fucking PowerPoint presentation about the franchise. Is this how they pitched the second game to the CEOs? Also, this company? is just uh, what's it called? What's the water thing? What? What's water. the what's the stupid belief about water having memory? I don't know. Hom oh, homeopathy. Oh. This, this so the, this entire game is based on psychic homeopathy. That's the franchise's core mechanic. Immunoglobulin. 
Immunoglobulin is an important part of the body's defense against viruses, bacteria, and other invaders. It identifies and neutralizes certain threats. The Ig replicator found in the lab gets its name from immunoglobulin. Glob we're gonna find an Ig replicator, apparently. Apparently, yeah. Ig equals immunoglobulin is the entire uh, note. Uh, excuse me. What was it's, that? it's fine. Integer factorization. Oh, fuck. factorization is, is just actually explaining math, isn't it? Yeah. Factorization is the process of reducing numbers to a series of numbers that, when multiplied together, give the original number. When taken to its logical conclusion, this will yield a list of prime numbers. For the purposes of factorization, one is not considered a prime. So yeah, it's just you keep breaking down a, uh, yeah, factorization. This is like third grade stuff or something. Is it? I don't know. Yeah, this is, this is, I think this is elementary school level math, if I remember correctly. So now, I think that what we're learning here is that's going to be involved in, uh... Do you think that's going to be the new thing? Like we did, was it Prime Roots was last time yeah. or something? I think, do you think factorization might come in, come into play here? Maybe. Oh my god, what if a door has a specific number and we have to combine... You mean like nine? Oh, What if our wrist numbers are, are actually the factor of something? And they're uh. combined, and multiplying all of them together actually makes uh is actually what you need to get through a door at the end and so anyone who was a one is actually contributing nothing to the factorization process because one is completely worthless because you're multiplying by one so every t every member of the party that's turned into a one by the collective group of selfishness uh reduces the chance of success if there's like a door where you're like you need 200 to survive <laughs> and like that's the only way to leave oh. it's like the secret was to work together you fucks <laughs> wow that'd be great <laughs> that'd be great but also spoiled as fuck at this point, if that's what it is. Tu fui ego eres. A relatively well-known Latin phrase, it might look like it's talking about a pair of sexy toaster waffles, but it actually means something like, what are you, I was. I mean, what you are, I was. What I am, you will be. Sometimes used as an epitaph, the implication is that the person in question was once alive, like the reader, but that the reader will someday also be dead. A little ominous, I guess. Is that like, is that your personal belief, uh, writer of the franchise? Is that like your, are you putting your- like, I just want to highlight, it might look like it's talking about a pair of sexy toaster waffles. I, I don't even know what the actual Latin phrase is. Ego eres. Tu fui ego eres. What makes it sexy? Is Eris related to sexiness? Ego is obviously a pun. I'm, I'm, I, mean, it's re I mean, a reference to Ego Waffles. It may be. I think joke. he might be making a joke in Japanese. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Because uh, because SOS, the Special Office of Internal Security. So that's literally just SOS. Alice in the background. That okay, looks... thanks for spoiling that. <laughs> that is just Alice. <laughs> well, I'm glad to know Alice can wear clothes. Is an elite intelligence organization under the jurist? It's weird to see her wearing clothes, actually. An elite intelligence organization under the jurisdiction of the Department of Defense. They investigate potentially disruptive or dangerous elements such as domestic or foreign terrorists, radical political splinter groups, and religious organizations with extreme agendas that could pose a threat to the sta state or citizenry. Their stated purpose is to maintain peace, but their charter authorizes them to arrest, detain, or even kill. Scary. <laughs> Thanks for the commentary gold documents. Yeah. Why, do you, why are you written in this way? If you weren't supposed to read this stuff, then the developers would block them. So it's like you get you get all your gold rewards at the end of the playthrough. But they didn't do that or in any way warn you not to read them. So I'm forced to assume that you're totally supposed to read them if you get them. Except and for the fact that they're like spoiling so yeah, much. Yeah, <laughs> like there's Alice and like, wow, look, I wonder what she was training in. Almost like she's a member of the, the special office of internal security. <laughs> God, like, so why would you even put that photograph there? That like, <laughs> that that takes like real dedication to being. That's an extra asshole. level of stupid, yeah. Because it this is just hinting that this in, this group exists, which like, if you think about it, if it's anything like the CIA or whatever, like we could potentially the characters in the universe could know it exists. So this could just be lore building. Yeah. But showing the picture of Alice in the background is like, oh, so she's in the group. Yeah, okay. So she's that's ex that's what she is. So that's she's not explicitly what she's doing. She's not a detective, but we were right. She's like basically a a letter organization. She's so an alphabet. <laughs> Couldn't get kidnapped wearing that, huh? <laughs> right. <laughs> What was she? Was she? Does she? Have, was she swapped clothes like Seven? Who we found out? Wait, what? We found out Seven was working with them the whole time, didn't we? 
Huh? No, seven actually he did have amnesia. Did he really? Yeah. Or was he work? I thought we got a hint no, that he, he was, was working with that he was working with uh, June and. No, 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 no. He he saved them in the past, but he did not have any memory. He did actually have amnesia. Remember, then it started coming back to him at one time because we were in that we were in the jail cell, and he like looked under the bed and it had the the vent in it, and he was like, "I'm remembering it all." It's such a weird mix, just because it's like here's here's spoilers for this game. And then here's relatively important, like, get caught up on past information stuff. Well, okay, you say get like caught up on past information. This is getting us caught up on the last game. But we never, like... <sighs> so... <laughs> what? I don't so know. So it's now confirmed that Alice has Ice Nine in her veins. Yeah. Which we didn't know before, but not only we, that... Well, we kind of knew it. Well, we kind of knew she was the, the mummy that was frozen in Ice Nine. Yeah. But we didn't know that she literally had Ice like, Nine Like she's Ice Man powers. Yeah. But yeah. now, we also have to ask the question of like, so she works for the SOIS, but... Do you think... And we also know... She's also that, a mummy from like the past, We also but, know that she's from that... She's apparently from that, uh, that, that boat, but she was already awake before the entire events of 999 happened and was not, and had nothing to do with them. Yes. And just happened to, and then she woke up and, I don't know, like, recruited Clover on the spot, I guess, or something. She must have been She was probably already with SOIS. She Otherwise, how would she even know yeah. what was going on? She was probably investigating. In which case, SOS, SOIS is really bad at rescuing children. <laughs> yeah. So they kind of just let these things happen twice, apparently. But, uh, yeah, I assume that she was there to recruit, and she came over and recruited Clover as a result of that. Uh, but does she have anything to do with the experiment, or was it just a total coincidence she happened to be an Ice-9 mummy on the exact ship that would later be used for morphogenetic field experiments for no reason? Because the morphogenetic fields never had anything to do with the ship. It's just he felt like doing the experiments on it. Yeah. Like, so the morphogenetic field never had a connection to the ship. And yet she was also on the ship for reasons. It's like it's just this magic coincidence ship that everything ever could be involved in. It's for also no a Titanic. Yeah, no, not the Titanic. It's a, sister. It's a, it's a pretend Titanic. Yeah, it was, well, it's fucking weird, man. It's so weird. Everything's weird. Where's the other password? That's what this is for. I forgot. Moon, moon, moon star. star. Moon, moon star. Is this one? Yeah, I think. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow, it opened again. Uh, is there something inside? N no shit. There's a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> Let's have a look at it then. Uh, first, uh, first off, uh, this looks like a map. Uh, on the upper levels, left it, or on the upper upper left, it says floor B. The map we found in the crew quarters said floor A. Uh. So A is the top floor, and B is the bottom floor. I mean, I know we took the elevator down to get here, so right. Let's keep going. There are more things in the safe. Like this a key. Is... The key card. So we got the Ambidex room key, so we're ready to fuck up our foe. It has a moon on it, uh... That means, uh... Yeah, this is the moon card that the announcer was talking about. There's two of them in here, just like with the sun card. You should take one, Alice. Why, uh... Well, you're a solo. Luna and I will take one, and you take the other one. That's how this works. We've explained it like seven times. Yeah, seriously. And she she acts like we're the dumb one. Right, uh... Thanks. Yeah, we should've just actually kept it so she couldn't get in. So what do we got next? Yeah, if she doesn't go in, doesn't it default to, uh... Ally? To ally? Yeah. yeah. We got. We need to inject her with something, so just she'll pass out in her one when she goes in. And then we know what she'll pick. Haha. -ha. Alright. I already said it. Looks like a piece of paper. <clears throat> Whoa. 
The Wait. Nevada type the Nevada test site. Fuck me, are you serious? In Rhizome 9. Are we in Rhizome 9? Rhizome 9 is the outbreak. Was it? No. Are we doing the Andromeda strain right now? Have you read that? Yes. I've read the Andromeda strain. Yeah. That was... Where they were in like a Nevada bunker and like California was getting wiped out by like a person dissolving disease or something. Yeah. No, it was um... It was just a tiny town. Yeah. There was just like one tiny town like where I'm everyone just like fucking vaporized or something. Yeah, cause no. like an asteroid... Like uh, some sort of alien material was infecting the world or something. Just, just that town. Yeah. It was like some weird thing, like it was contained to the town and they had to like get it. <laughs> my favorite plot point was the <laughs> guy that my favorite plot point was the guy that didn't report that he had epilepsy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Endangers everyone. Yeah. Thanks, asshole. That actually that whole that whole story fits along really well with 999. <laughs> with right. how doofy the whole thing was. Wait, didn't Weirdly enough, there's a move there's a, a movie, a, right? There's a miniseries, a miniseries movie based on it. Where one of the doctors is played by Dr. Cox's wife from Scrubs. Oh, right. <laughs> it's really odd. Wasn't Jeff Goldblum in that? <laughs> I don't remember. I think Jeff Goldblum I was in I never actually that. watched it. I just saw the, the the poster. I'm like, that's... That's that's the that's the, that's, 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 that's the mean wife <laughs> that has JD stretcher pants. <laughs> I'm glad you remembered that. Yeah. What's this? Some, What's this? Some kind of uh, diagram. There's something in the air. Oh, they're tunnels leading to different places. Could be. It doesn't make any sense. I wonder what it is. Huh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh well, just forget about it for now. We can always come back to it later. 